What is up, everybody? Chris the Dark Watcher. Welcome you back to another episode of Pokemon Insurgents. Where we last left off, we just stopped the assassins from two cults to take out the auger, and we are about to head to Midna Town, which is the next town in the in the uh, region. So we're in Shade Forest. We're just gonna need to go back through the cave. Unfortunately, that was a pain. And uh, yeah. So, I'm just picking up right where we left off last. Did I, did I battle this kid? Okay, hope you're ready. Okay, I didn't battle this kid. Alright, well, I mean, I learned last episode I really do need to train a little bit more. Send out Pat Rat. So, Atlas is out. He's level 10. Going for that Bone Club. Bone Club hit hard. And Bone Club should just take out this Pat Rat. There we go. Alright, Atlas. Good job, buddy. Send in Pidove. <laughs> well, I actually cannot hit a Pidove with Atlas. So, I'm gonna just go into Necroz. I'm not using Necroz as a crutch, per se. Because, I mean, like, to be perfectly honest, he's really not all that much more powerful than everybody else. It's just a matter of his typing. He's a Ghost Dragon type, which he resists a ton of things. Ghost Dragon resists a lot of stuff. What is it? He resists all the elements. Grass, electric, water, fire. He resists, um, poison and bug. There are six resistances. And he's only got, like, four, he's got four weak, five weaknesses. He's got five weaknesses. I, I lost. Did you cheat? He's got five weaknesses. He's got ghost, dark, dragon, fairy, and ice. Yeah, he's got five weaknesses. Alright, so I gotta get back to the, uh, the cave. I think I'm actually gonna hit a repel real quick. Atlas is pumped and raring to go. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna use a repel real quick. Alright, so this will uh, save me some time. I mean, some battles, because it's only 50 steps. Oh, well, I just wasted a couple. And there's a repel going off. Alright. The Pokemon in here were relentless for a while. And they're gonna be relentless again! A Baltoy! I can't actually hit this thing with Atlas. I can't actually hit it because it's got levitate. Alright, I'm gonna toggle the auto run off because I'm not making that mistake again. And I'll toggle it back on. So. So we're about to. Okay, there's. That's it. But what was over here? Because you said that there was a stone over here. Oh, wait. Is that it? found a hard stone. That powers up rock moves, I believe. So I really have no use for it right now. And there's like a surf zone to like a, to like a single spire like rock thing over there. I mean, I guess I got bone club this thing? Oh, hey, that was a crit. I guess I could just do it just to get some experience. Stop tail whipping me! <laughs> Come on! I missed! Oh boy. One bone club is gonna kill me from that thing. Oh, okay, there we go. Good job, Atlas. You didn't level up. I was hoping you would level up with that. Alright, well, we're back in Shade Forest, but we're about to leave it. And we're on Route 1! The first official route of the uh, Torin region. So, are you a tra trainer? And what's in the grass here? A Bunnelby! I mean, I'm not gonna complain about a Bunnelby, but I already have a ground type, so a Digger's V isn't really gonna be necessary for me. This Bunnelby's fast, though. Alright, there we go. Got rid of the Bunnelby. Atlas leveled up, probably. 
There we are. Atlas learned headbutt. Nice. Heading up to Midtown, there's a school up there. You can learn how to become a trainer. How is that like a cry of battle? Murkrow, I cannot hit you. <laughs> I actually have nobody who can really, like, hit you. Because Necroz is weak to the dark type. Oh, Pursuit! You have Pursuit! That's not good! Tailwind! Okay, this guy is setting up. Get confused. Alright. Look at Murkrow's eyes! They're like hypnotic thing, kind of like, like, uh... Like that one guy from, uh, from the Jungle Book, the snake. Why is it you are not catching confusion? Alright. Please hit yourself. Hit yourself. Thank you. Okay, get rid of this Murkrow. Okay. Whew. Did not expect the Murkrow to be that much of a problem. I actually need to get out of here. Uh, I really hope that oh, I can't I can't keep going through battles. <laughs> I can't keep going through battles like that. Quartz flute. When it's played, mute will appear. Uh, I need to use these. Wow, I'm just burning through these potions right now. There's a lot of cool caves and places to explore in the Torrent region. I hope to explore them all. Alright then. Ruin Maniac Mark would like to battle. Sends out a Machop. Okay, Atlas should be able to handle a Machop. I'm gonna go for a Headbutt. Karate Chop. Crit! Let's see if Bone Club does better. Bone Club does a little bit more. Okay, now I'm a little scared of the Karate Chop. It's okay. We took out the Machop. Okay, alright. Atlas levels up. That's nice. Yeah, we're still really good defense. Oh my gosh. Send in a Jigglypuff. Will I switch? Yes, I will. I'm gonna go into... Uh, we haven't seen Deliora this episode yet. Let's go into Deliora. And Deliora's got that double kick, so he's super effective. Wait, is this a fairy? This might be a fairy type. Cute charm. Son of a gun. And my entire team is male. It was neutral. It was neutral. So what type is Jigglypuff? Is it a normal fairy? I'm gonna focus energy. Is immobilized. I wasn't even hitting you. Come on! I'm gonna focus energy, try and get crits. Okay, come on. Don't put me to sleep. Thank you! <laughs> don't be immobilized. Thank you. Okay. Now don't go to sleep. Do not... Okay, it's pound. Okay. No, don't be immobilized. Please do not be immobilized. Dang it! Okay, I gotta I got swap. I think I gotta swap. My attack is halved. The only way this attack is gonna be worth anything is if I crit. You stop dropping my attack! You freaking like raises defense twice and he's dropping my attack like it's nothing. All I need to do is hit you once! All I need to do is hit you once! This Jigglypuff is a pain in my neck! Okay. That's it. Please just hit. Just hit. Deliora, please. Thank you! 
crit pack. Crit pack. You better level up. Good. <laughs> what the heck? Jigglypuff of all Pokemon. Just no. Just no. That was not cool. I'm using my last potion. Atlas or Deliora? Oh. I'll use it on Deliora. Atlas, if I if I see a if I get a flying type, Atlas can't even hit them. So as a matter of fact, I'm gonna swap Atlas with Deliora. Headbutt wait. Is it in this game can I headbutt trees and I'm gonna try that. Oh, whoop, I hit the wrong button. Can I headbutt? Can't use that here. Why can't I use headbutt? Okay. Another wild Pokemon. What is this? A Blitzel! These things are surprisingly freaking mean, by the way. Like, they look all happy. That thing's an evil creature! I'm just going to go for a double kick. That animation was powerful! I'm just gonna go for a double kick real quick. I might actually catch this. I don't know if I'll use it. Whoa! What was that? <laughs> that hurt! Let's see if we can catch this guy, or girl. Let's see if we can catch her. Dang it! Mm. Tail whip. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can you get in the ball? Get in the ball. Thank you. Okay, we got a Blitzel. What do I nickname Blitzel? It's a girl. Mine and store the electricity. What's a nickname for Blitzel slash Zeb Striker? Um. No, I, I'm I'm not gonna nickname this one. I can't think of a good nickname for a Blitzel. Well, let's let's check it out. Let's check out Blitzel, shall we? It's holding something. It's got a cherry berry. Doesn't that like prevent paralysis, but you're immune to paralysis? No, wait. Does cherry prevent paralysis? I think cherry might be for poison. It's got lightning rod. Oh, boosted special. But you're a physical attacker. But you don't have a negative. I mean. Look at that! Look at that IV! Those IVs are not bad. And you got Quick Attack, uh, Tail Whip, Charge, and Shockwave. Nice! That's really not bad. I think I might just have to also put uh, Necroz up front. Because I am out of potions. Necroz is practicing a scratch move for Necroz seems to be trying to tell Lars something. Is anxious to see what Lars will do next. So, he likes me now! Necroz likes me now! That's a Blitzel! I kinda wanna just go right into Atlas. Actually. Can Atlas take a hit? He can eat a quick attack. I know he can take a quick attack. He went for charge. Okay, he cannot shockwave me. He can't shockwave me. I'm just gonna go for... Okay, quick attack. I think I can eat one. I ate it fine. And there goes that Blitzel. That Blitzel's done. Alright, good job, Atlas. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't gonna avoid this battle. My Pokemon are the strongest of all time! Okay, come on, come on. Let's get to the city, please. I wanna get to the city. Snubble. Are you a fairy? These Pokemon scare me because I don't know if they're fairy types. 
drop my defense. That's not good. Well, I'm gonna find out now. He's a fairy type. Oh no. Oh no. I don't have anything for this. I I'm just dropping his attack. That's just as bad! At least it wasn't stab. If it was a play rough, I was dead! <laughs> this is hard! Oh my god, I have that super potion, but... Okay. I'm gonna drop his defense. I'm gonna try and hit this thing as hard as I can. I'm gonna drop this thing's defense and hit it as hard as possible. Cause I do not like... He got poisoned. Okay. He got poisoned by poison point. Alright. I'm going for Peck. I did still nothing! Okay. But my attack was dropped too, so... Uh, let's go into... Atlas! I could hit him with Bone Club, and that should do a decent amount. Or just outright knock it out. That's good. You got another Pokemon. A Pidgey. I do have to switch. Uh, Blitzel should be able to handle a Pidgey, actually. I do have Charge. I, I mean, I do have uh, Shockwave. Let's just go for the Shockwave. One shot? Not quite. Almost. Sand attack. Oh my god. You gotta be joking me. Okay, good. <laughs> we didn't get the, the, the sand attacks of doom. Okay, Blitzel, you came through. Juggler Chain. Oh well, at least they're in sec their second place. Inferring that my Pokemon are first place. I am... Gonna use that super potion because I have to. Because I lost Deliora in that. It's such a waste of a super potion. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm gonna just try and avoid as many battles as I can. I don't wanna go back in! Oh no, I'm gonna have to battle this guy, aren't I? Yes, I am. I've been training for days. I hope you're ready to take all my Pokemon. Please just have bugs. Please just have bugs. Please just have bugs. Huh? Okay, you're Paris. Paris. I can deal with Paris. Hopefully. Why didn't it do anything? Why is it not doing anything? Was it a glitch? The Paris didn't even make a move. Did I switch? No. Okay, Arya Das I resist as well, so. Scary face, that's dropping my speed. Ugh. Leash life. I resist that. It's gonna heal him for one point. Hit him for that. I'm gonna confuse him. String shot. Stop dropping my speed! Oh, you're already faster than me! Hit yourself. Thank you. Get this giant bug out of here. Oh my gosh. Die? You're not dead. Okay, now you're dead. Okay. There goes the Ariados. Necroz is level 14. I can't wait to see what Necroz evolves into. I want to see what Delta Charmeleon looks like. I just thought about that. He's two levels away from evolving. I can't wait to see Delta Charizard. Oh my god. Black Skull Dragon. Please tell me you're not a trainer. <gasps> that wanted to trade Pokemon. If only I could find her. I heard she has something rare. 
Wait, there's a girl that- How do you get Pikachu onto a bus? You poke him off. Minotown is connected to both uh, Suntouch City and Nara Town. To get to Suntouch, you just leave to the west, but to get to Nara, you need to be able to climb rocks. So I assume I can't get to Nara right now. Haunter! Haunter! I come from a faraway Johto region. Back in those days, we just had discovered the Dark and Steel types. Isn't it incredible how far we've come since then? Would you like to trade Pokemon? I'll trade you my Ghastly for, say, a Durant or a Heatmore. Either one works. I don't have either, and I actually don't want a Ghastly. Well, come back if you change your mind. For the reason I don't want the Ghastly is because, I mean, I've got a ghost type in Charmander. Hey, how's it- Hi, how's it going? <laughs> you just got a Great Ball lying around, so I guess, uh, I'll, uh, I'll plunder that. What the heck? Is it a Wii? That's a Wii. <laughs> Put the Wii in here. Alright. Do you know Electrode is the third fastest non-mega and non-legendary Pokemon? That always surprised me. It doesn't look that fast. That's actually true! Electrode is a really fast Pokemon and nobody realizes how fast it is. It's so speedy. I've seen it. It's like base speed is like 140 or something like that. It's got a really high base speed. I used to be a librarian at the... Ultira Ult Town Library. What a magnificent building. Books in every direction and looks. What's down here? Hello, hello. I'm the official name rater. Want me to write the name of the Pokemon? No, I don't. Not right now. Uh, if we can find out a nickname for Blitzel, if I can get one in the comment section, I will come back to this guy and we will change your name. It is a female Blitzel. So. I was a bird. Sorry. It was a bird in real life. Ah, oh, hello, I'm the move delete. I can admit of some medical amnesiacs to Pokemon to make them forget <laughs> medical amnesiacs. I promise I'm licensed. Get the heck away from me! What are you? Hello, welcome to the clothes shop. Oh, is this your first time here? In the basement of every Pokemon Center, there's a tailor who has all sorts of clothes for you to buy. Will you look for and find different clothes for you to wear? Would you like to purchase? Uh, not really. I'm okay with this right now. I might change my look later. That sounds like a good idea later. Oh, how may I serve you? I'm buying a bunch of these. Like, I'm buying like 30 of them. I can't buy 30 of them. I'm buying like 15 of them. Yes. I'm buying some Pokeballs too. <laughs> Okay, so we got some Pokeballs. Uh, I guess I'll buy repels. Oh my god, I'm poor. Wow, that gave me next to nothing. I, sh I really actually should go back and train. Uh, you have anything to say? I heard there's a guy in Helios that would let you create your own moves. When I went there, though, I couldn't find him anywhere. I guess it's just another urban legend. Create your own moves. There's a lot of cool new Mega Evolutions that I've heard of, only in the Tauren region. Typhlosion, Eevee, Marowak... Oh, I can't the Mega Evolution! I want to see the one... Marowak! I got a Cubone! I didn't look up any of this stuff for this game, by the way. That is awesome! My favorite Pokemon types are Fire types. They just incinerate any competition. There are even Pokemon like Rotom Heat to counter its water type weakness. Uh, different cults of the Torrent region scare me a bit. There's five of them, and they all have really powerful Pokemon. Thankfully, Jern, the second uh, Augur, is here to protect us. Okay. I've been preparing to take on the gyms of the Torrent region. Be, where, be warned, they're very tough. Since they're not bound to a single type, they have different strategies than you'd expect. See, this is the thing, like, they only have three gyms here, but I'm imagining these gyms are, like, 20 times harder. Like, they're probably, like, actually, like, tough. <laughs> this is a Macargo. 
A lot of entries in Pokemon seems to be like complete. Or no way is Macargo's body temperature hotter than the surface of the sun. <laughs> Go. Go. I've been doing some research into Delta Pokemon. Apparently, there's a rare variety of Pokemon with different types, abilities, and movesets than normal. They seem to be created normally, sometimes, naturally, sometimes. But it's more common that they'd be made by a mad scientist. Man, I wish I could see one for myself. Uh, you, there, I, you, you, you see this Charmander? Do you see this? Do you see this Charmander? Necroz is happily traveling with Lars. I'm glad that Necroz likes me now. I'm actually really glad about that. Uh, you know the old expression, who are you and why are you in my house? <laughs> Would you like to trade Pokemon? I'll trade you my Elekid for any boat. I got a Caterpie. I could get an Elekid. And we can swap Blitzel out. Oh my god. I would totally. If it wasn't reserved for Ampharos, I would nickname that Laxus. Oh, wait, I can't nickname it as a trade. Um, I can't do it right now. Oh, that's a shame. Wait, can I? Can I do it from my. I don't. I can't. I need to go back and get a. Uh... I can trade him out and then I can get an Elekid. Oh, whoops. Whoops, 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 whoops. Did not mean to do that. No! That's a statue of the auger. This statue is the second auger. He's a hero. After the first auger disappeared, he's been fighting the cult and keeping the region safe. They said he rode upon Arceus himself. I'm starting to think this guy, like, while he's a cool guy and all, I think he's a little bit of a, uh... Over-exaggerator. Now, I actually am going to do this trade, mainly because I'm not going to use a Caterpie. I'm not going to use a Butterfree. What I am going to use is... What I would use is an Elekid. <laughs> and I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Blitzel. I love you. You're awesome. Uh, continue. No. Okay, so what I'm gonna go do, I'm gonna go get that Ella kid. Wait, he's in, she's in, uh, here. She's in here. Ella kid, wow. This must be the person that the guy was talking about that had, like, a rare Pokemon. I'll trade you my Ella kid, yeah. Caterpie. Aw, oh, awesome, here you are. Wait, wait. Ah! Stop it! One sec, guys. And, uh, before that gets loud. Okay. Okay, Caterpie? So, <laughs> I randomly got the Caterpie and all of a sudden became useful. At Ace Trainer. Ace Trainer, Mimi, bids farewell to Elekid. He's an Ace Trainer. Thunderbolt. I'm okay with that. Take good care of Elekid. I will. I'm actually planning on using him. Let's uh, let's check him out. Let's check out Elekid real quick. Thunderbolt. I like that nickname too. Okay then. Let's see, he's not holding the Electrolyzer, which that would have been awesome if he was, because then I could get an Electivire almost immediately. Uh, serious nature, quick to flee. He's serious. So his nature is neutral. He's got static. Oh my gosh. Why? <laughs> okay. The reason why I'm laughing, for those of you who don't notice this. Elekid's EIVs are really good. Except the attack stat, which Electabuzz is the physical attacker. And Thunderbolt's also level 5, so we're going to have to switch train him. So that's a thing. Well... I mean, that's not bad. I can definitely deal with it. He's got Thunder Shock, which means that the the high IVs and uh, speed uh, and special attack and speed are, aren't bad. Those are actually good, especially like if you can. Um, if I can actually like, I don't know how to evolve trade a Pokemon in this game yet. There might be a way to do it, maybe with like Stone or maybe the Electrolyzer is actually just an item you give him and he evolves. 
But one thing is, if he can get motor drive, that high speed is going to help. So, anyways, guys, I think I'm going to leave the episode here. Uh, we actually made a little bit of progress. We get to Midna Town. We um, we just got an Ella kid. So, uh, I think this is a good point to leave off here. We'll explore the rest of the town. I'll do a little bit of grinding between now and the next episode. So, expect a grinding montage in the next one. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope to see you in the next one. Peace!